My mom told me not to shut the strangers on the internet, but I'm glad I didn't listen. We are the Certified Nunas, your sisters in the love of Asian entertainment. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm Jesse. I'm Natalia. And I'm Sky. And it's that time again, everyone's favorite episode, where we just Woo! talk about what we're watching. Hey, and then if we liked it, and if we if we think other people might want to like it too. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. And if you've been listening to this uh, podcast for any uh, period of time, you know this is a monthly staple of this mm-hmm. podcast. It's us just telling you what we've watched. <laughs> and how much free gonna time do. we have how much yeah this is <laughs> how sad our lives are yeah like <laughs> how how just how how we're doing as people you know what you can actually like sometimes like if you look at the titles that like we're watching you can really see like if, are things going well for us as people like it's like uh, suspicious so uh, true <laughs> it's sad but true. Um, so we're gonna. I think Jesse's gonna start us off. Uh, so Jesse, yeah. I, I know that you've been watching a hilarious amount of stuff for you. Yes, um, like for me, I'm watching a ton of hmm. stuff, and especially like you were just discussing this, uh, not like just a little bit ago. But um, I had a chunk of this past month where I was like working every day really long hours and I still was able to like be at this yeah. really ridiculous <laughs> amount um so uh the next month is going to probably be double <laughs> what classic. I've been doing classic no you're, t- you're gonna be me at- by the end of this year <laughs> <laughs> you turn into old Natalia I just don't sleep. <laughs> That's the way to do it, baby. You want to I mean, watch I as many dramas sleep. as yeah. You want to watch as many dramas as us? Insomnia, <laughs> the only way to do it. They're, they're the two. They're the two main it's insomniacs. Really yeah. <laughs> it, it is how, it literally is how I'm able to do this. Because it's like, yeah, you sure you should be going to bed. So as far you as up, like to be at work at eight a.m. But. Since, do they rec- do they recommend this lifestyle? No, no. Uh, no. <laughs> like, see, this, this is like an audio only podcast. What you're missing is the look of deep concern on Sky's face as we laugh about like, it. Be like, I only slept two hours. Woo! All the dramas we watch, and she's like, Oh, honey, no. Listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be up anyways. Might as well mm. fill that time wisely, okay? Let's well enjoy true. it. Whatever know? brings your you joy. It's That's good. Right. It's mm-hmm. good. Exactly. No. So, Jesse, what is one thing you've been watching? So, um, I finished my twelve for foot twelve challenge pick of the month. Yay. Literally, I finished it right before this podcast recording. So it's just like Ooh, right in fresh. I, yeah, it's fresh on my mind. Um, and this month, because I'm not doing it in order um, on years, I'm just kind of picking at random. Um, I did 2019 spot, which was uh, Ooh, when the camellia blooms. Camellia, <gasps> I love that drama. Camellia. I don't. I don't know how to say that. Camellia. Um, camellia. Um, so I didn't love the drama. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it's okay. We can just, you know, it's. A, but I didn't drop it. Degree. So, you know, that, that's. Yeah, you didn't drop it. I didn't drop it. Um, it was very long. <laughs> I think it was way too long than it should have been. Uh, Cause it's 20 episode or, um, Oh wow. And then also like MDL has it mm-hmm. still in the like broken up like half hour things. So it's like oh. 40 episodes and I was always trying to like, <laughs> I was a dark time. And really. I'm like <laughs> one, two. Okay. Yeah. It is 18, but it's not 18. I'm at nine. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hated that. <laughs> that <part laughs> yeah. Um, oh, but if you haven't watched it, it's about, a woman who is single and has a son who moves into a town and opens a bar um, called the Camellia or, and then things start to happen and you find out that there's this serial killer in town and she's kind of central to the investigation and um, she meets the bumbling puppy of a cop. Oh, <laughs> he's kind of like new. <laughs> yeah, he's a I mean, he's not, like, super, he's, like, appropriately not as smart. Like, you know, he's just, like, from a a small town kind of intelligence. So he's not, like, full himbo in that respect. But every other aspect of him is just (laughs) (laughs) fluffy-haired, like, 
cries, holds his heart, <laughs> which she comes uh, by, falls I'm hearing love with her immediately. All of the reasons why Natalia Sin. probably loved yeah, this Sin. character. You're really, like, listen, you're just, you just, you, you know how much I love a himbo sim. Like, it's, it's my favorite thing. So, mm. um, so the the story, it's not really a rom com because the murder plot line is very much part of the show. It's from the very beginning. There's you find out stuff throughout, like almost every episode. It's a very huge central plot of this show. Um, and I did think that that aspect of it, a surprise, surprise, um, was really good. Like that really was what kept me going with the drama. Mm. Um, I thought it was interesting. I thought they, they placed clues in kind of like neat and differently. And um, it, it kept me entertained in that respect. And like, I didn't mind the relationship between the two leads like i thought they he was cute um and I, there are some aspects of it that i really like liked because it was a lot about the female lead kind of like overcoming stuff or like finding her voice even when her voice isn't like super loud and i i do like some of that stuff but there are other stuff that like that show did that kind of just rubbed me the wrong way and directly like didn't follow what it was trying to tell you especially with the town folk because they were all really mean and they got that weird redemption arc and they were still True. mean and they weren't even interesting so like there was kind of like <laughs> nothing for them except for like the very last episode but like nothing they did tied to anything else that they did it like previous and, and it is 20 episodes of it. So it's like, it kind of was like, what was the point? Like, we could have had a fun, like, random found family. But they were kind of just, like, mean because they're she's petty. a single mother. Yeah, you know? they're very petty. Um, and she's pretty. And, like, all the their husbands and all the guys were coming to her bar. Um, the son, he's, like, eight. He's fantastic. He is the best part of this show. They're, they have great moments. He's so much fun. Um, mm. The the second male lead, who's the father of the kid, is a trash and continues he's to awful. be trash. He's, he's, awful. He's, he's such a good actor to play trash, know, though. He does I such know. a good job. <laughs> but they spend so much time on him, and it's yeah. exhausting because it's like, this isn't even like someone who's like second lead syndrome material like right and we're spending so much time on him it's exhausting like can we just move on just give me more murders or something what's going on can, can um, they murder him can he get murdered yeah. that would be ideal and i think the, the the biggest thing that the the show didn't do that it kind of like said it was going to do and then it didn't was we missed out on the greatest relationship between the female lead and the lawyer, who's mm. the the wife of the the guy who wants to be mayor or whatever, they could have had such a great storyline, and they didn't do it. They didn't do it at all. They just kind of put her back with her cheating husband. So, mm. and I was like, oh. and it's, like, <laughs> it's literally the um, the mom of the cop. She literally looks at like the female lead and looks at the lawyer and is like they're going to become best friends. And then they don't really ever talk to each other. Like, then they're why friendly. Did, then why like, have that moment? <laughs> that's ridiculous. It's like, what are we doing? They're right there. They're right <sighs> there. <sighs> Sigh. Um, but I mean, like, I understand why everybody loves it. I really do. Like, you, you can definitely see why people like it, especially, like, people that I wouldn't expect to like it because of the murder plot. Because the murder plot is very... It's very central. Big. Yeah, it's not, yeah. like you're going through episodes and it's not happening or like it like even in like the fluffy sweet times there's something going on in the background like literally there'll be something written on a wall or something that like you don't catch until they like figure it out so it's like the clues are always there and they're always doing stuff with the murder and the murders aren't like very nice murders too so like it's a big yeah, they're story pretty, but, they're pretty nasty murders yeah. like yeah and I get why people liked it. I just didn't enjoy it all the way. Mm, but, you know. Fair. You know. But I still, like, there are some, like, really good parts of it. And I think kind of the general consensus is that people really like it. 
where where was where would where'd you watch it netflix On netflix yeah and what do you rate it because i know you're good at rating i rated it a six <laughs> You rated it six. Mm-hmm. So it's on, on, that's a low end for me. Sorry. Mm. Yeah. But you, I didn't no need drop to apologize. it. But it's low, but it's like watchable. But, but you finished it. Oh, yeah. And it, I think like, like a lot of people would love this if you haven't mm. watched it yet. Cool. And, and it's the challenge done. Yes. Woohoo. Huzzah. Woo. Uh, I am watching a Japanese drama. Uh, I'm going to try it. I apologize for butchering. It's called Zenryoku de Aishite Likana. It roughly translates as, Will you let me love you with all my heart? Hmm. I'm watching that too. It's so cute. Like, it's stupid cute. It's so cute. And Mm -hmm. it's adapted from a manga. I'm watching it places. And <laughs> you're watching, I'm watching it. it places too. Yeah, you're, you're just being watched. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, it basically the premise is this older man, this younger woman, like thirty and forty-five, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, she's an office worker. He owns a company, and they randomly meet. Theoretically, they sort of bump into each other and and have lunch all the time at this lunch counter and start chatting and the, and then one day he says you know what can i take you out to dinner could we date and she's like panics like date ah but they do and they go out for a nice dinner and it have a lovely time at this like hotel restaurant and they go for a little walk in the garden afterwards and she's talking about how great the food is and he says wow well like they also serve a great breakfast. In her brain, she goes, breakfast? This is a first date. We're not even really dating. He wants to have breakfast? Oh, my God. Sex? Like, I wasn't, ah. And she panics, right? And then he's, he, he no idea. He says, some, makes some comment. She says, oh, the gardens are really nice. Yeah, they look beautiful in the sunrise. And she's like, what? Right? She's freaking out. Listen, this my this guy. <laughs> yeah. like, she's like, listen, he's 45. He's an adult. I haven't done much dating in my adult life, but like, this is the way adults date. And I just got to like jump in there. She grabs him and says, I'm like in your, like, take good care of me. He's like, take what? Now he's panicking because he was not thinking sex. He just thought breakfast was good. You know, (laughs) basically his thought process was I brought her here and I, and I think he did book a hotel room or something, but he basically thought, I was just telling her because, like, I figured she was going to reject me, and I, mm-hmm. I could have a nice breakfast in the morning and watch the sunrise <laughs> to console myself. And she's just like, she, and so but he's like, well, if she, I mean, I'm not gonna say no if she wants to have sex. Like, I really like this woman, so like, if that's how fast kids are moving these days, I guess I'm okay. And they like, and they have sex, and it's not like that. They both enjoy it. They both. But they're both like inner monologuing, like this mm-hmm. utter panic about like you know. That's at cute. One point, that is really he, like, cute. Says, you know, <laughs> he says to her, "If you know, if you want me to stop at any point, just tell me to stop." Like ah, you love nice, a good green flag. You love a good green flag. Her brain goes, "Oh, I'm not attractive enough. He would be able to stop easily if I." And he says, "Because," and then he finishes talking, and he's like, "Because." you're so amazing that I don't know if, so just like push me off the bed. Like if I don't seem like I'm paying attention, push me off the bed. Cause I'm going to be so into this that I like, you know, and she's like, Oh, okay. Like it just, and it's just constant. Like every, like the second episode, you get more from his perspective. Mm-hmm. He actually was looking for her because she rescued him from robbers. Ah, the point. classic. The classic. Yeah. <laughs> like, Listen, you're, you're just, Getting, and, getting all of them. Getting yeah. all of them. And then she explains to him why she knows judo, and it's because this guy made moves on her, and it was a bad scene. So now he's thinking, she thinks I'm a terrible person because I had sex with her on the first night. So basically, the rest of the drama is this whole miscommunication where 
he just wants to take her on picnics mm -hmm. and like have nice dates and she's thinking i'm dating an adult man who wants to have adult dates so she goes out and buys sexy lingerie and then he drops her off after the picnic you know classic she's like, oh classic. no what did i do wrong it's like, the like, but... softest most sweetest like miscommunication you can ever like, but, dream I, of. but i shaved like it's that energy like <laughs> I, you know it's always like the joke where guys are like oh, oh yeah like i totally convinced her to have sex with me and the girl's like i shave my legs who convinces to like Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's great and he's got two buddies that are like helping him work through this okay so she thinks you just want her for your uh, you know her body here's how we're gonna have up like they're planning operation sweet dates like mm -hmm. to help him Adorable. and he's got a family of women like his mom sister and niece that he kind of lives with but not really but like he's with all the time and they're so he's, cute. Like, he's like super rich like he owns the company or whatever so like it yeah. kind of seems like that if he doesn't like live with them it's mostly because he probably owns the places too and kind of yeah. really helps like, his family out a lot it's just like the first episode they're having a conversation about like when he finally gets married and they're and these women are arguing over like who gets to walk him down the aisle and they're like we'll just all walk you down the aisle because <laughs> you belong to us and you're our family and all that like it it's just cute so Aww. wholesome and sweet and like i mean and sexy they keep having sex it's not you know like they're grown-ups but like it's just sweet and mm. cute and nice. sweet so, and and, and, it's, and you finished it no it's currently airing i think oh, four oh, episodes oh. out right now so oh. um yeah it's uh I think there's 10 it's, episodes. It's on my list so. to start when it's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait so. until oh. it's out. Yeah, that, that yeah, was my wait, plan. Because they're like half hour episodes or something too. Like yeah, not even that. Episode. They're super and, short. Yeah. And, and, and they're just so cute. And you're just like, oh my god. <laughs> I would like to watch more of this now. Please. I mean, oh when I started god. it, there was three episodes and I watched them all at once and then I went, oh. Yeah. Really? Oh what god, what have I done? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we want there to be more though. Uh-huh. And there will be eventually. So, <laughs> so I want to. So for my two dramas today, the, there's one that's currently airing and one that's finished. I'm going to start with the currently airing one. And I've been watching uh, a little sp spooky. We're going to do spooky in air quotes. Um, a little rom com mystery called delivery man now i saw I, it too okay okay it's <laughs> very fun it's a very fun show now we often sometimes like more than once on the show i'm not gonna say often but we more than once we've talked about like when they translate korean titles of shows into english oftentimes they're like not that great mm -hmm. this one i think this is the best like translation of no yeah of ghost taxi that you could possibly come up with <laughs> because that is the basic plot where there is a taxi driver um who's he's like a young guy who inherited his mom's taxi after she died under suspicious circumstances um who is trying to keep his house where he and his grandmother live from being repossessed by the bank by driving a taxi and someone leaves a phone in his car and then suddenly there's a ghost in his car uh, and it has given the car bad vibes. So he can see the ghost, but no one else can. And the car's got like bad ghost vibes now. So every time like someone gets in the car, they start to feel sick and like they can't, you know, be in this taxi. So he then realizes that like he can see ghosts now and ghosts need help transitioning to the afterlife and he can make money like the ghost can tell them where their money is that he can then get real ghost whisperer type yeah <laughs> sort, of, sort of like a vibe right um yeah. and it's so cute and fun it is so very it, sweet yeah so it has yun chen yang who's the he was the main guy on uh all of us, all are, of dead. us are dead and it has bang min up who i love her i think she's just mm -hmm. such a delight from you know from girls day um as the taxi driver and the ghost. And it's also got Kim Min Suk. And you're thinking, which Kim Min Suk? There's like a billion. Uh, the actor <laughs> Kim Min Suk. Uh, 
playing a mysterious doctor. Like, it, anyway, it's so nice. You get to meet all of, like, all of the other, like, taxi drivers that he's friends with and, like, learn about their lives and then his cool grandma who just really wants him to get a girlfriend, but, like, he's too busy driving a taxi to, like, so his house doesn't get repossessed. Um, it's got really like really heartfelt little stories of all the ghosts that he meets and like it's just it's a really nice little show and i'm really enjoying it um i'm like one episode from being caught up but i'm how the episodes play because they don't do hard stops at the end of the episode they actually like play into the next episode so like Mm -hmm. you're essentially getting a full story arc with a ghost yeah like will be like one episode into the half of the next episode and then, and then it's start done. a new one yeah and then so it's like very like the like when you're watching it like back to back it's like very interesting watching mm. it that way mm. and that's on and, vicky isn't it yes it's on vicky mm-hmm. um it's it's really quite nice it's not like I, there's ghosts but it's not like spooky you know spooky ghosts in any way let's just, fight just, ghosts like, is scarier than this yeah show. It, and let's fight ghosts <laughs> isn't really that scary so yeah. like yeah. Um, uh-huh. Like the, the ghosts just look like normal people that only But I will he say, if you if you like that ghost rom com drama, like you'd mm-hmm. like this. Like if you like, oh yeah. my ghost is mm-hmm. and let's fight ghosts and mess yeah, or whatever. You're gonna, you're gonna really you're gonna like, like this one. one. Um, cool. It's it's. Are there any like jumps? A... Are there any jump scares so far? Because that's no. kind of sometimes like, the thing. Not. Not that I even can remember. Like, if they I mean, are, like, the only so like minor. jump scare is when she like activates the phone and she like is immediately there. But it's yeah. like not really a jump scare. It's just it's like just sort of just... like you're kind of expecting it because you've looked at the synopsis of the show and the poster. <laughs> yeah. and you sort of figure out that like okay, it's really funny. She's attached to the the cab, so she can't leave the cab. So she's yeah. trying to like walk in with like other ghosts to like help them out, and she's like thrown back into the. She's cab. like thrown they back. Into the oh. can. Uh, they do they the show does cleverly find a way around that so yeah she gets to go on more adventures as the show <laughs> progresses um it's just it's really cute and i'm really enjoying it and it's funny and i'm i'm really hoping that it continues to be enjoyable which it feels like it will how so, far okay. along is it um okay so it just started on march 1st so i think it's about i think it's six episodes in yeah i, I, I think do... it's only episode it's, it's only a 12 episode drama um are they full uh, length yeah yeah they're they're full they're full length episodes cool. yeah yeah um but it's it's really it's i'm really enjoying it quite a bit um and the acting is fantastic um i really like that kid he was so good yeah. and all of us are dead that's why i picked this one up um yeah so it's up to eight episodes out so far and i'm on episode six um and, you know, I I just gotta say, like, he has such an interesting face, and he's such a good actor, that, like, I just, I really, I hope he does a lot more stuff, because I'm really, I like his work. I like his work, all right? Oh, Yoon Jae Young, like, keep at it. Um, attached to something else. He just got a... Yeah, he just got attached to a, to a BL drama that's uh, a body-swapping gay Ooh. drama Ooh. uh called Ooh. i gangster became a high schooler classic title i feel like that's, a, I feel like that's <laughs> not gonna be classic. the final i feel like that's not gonna be the final title based on a manhwa of yeah. the same yeah. name <laughs> yes i i feel like the title may change with like time. It's change. um and also you know he's also attached to all of us are dead season two which <laughs> if you've seen all of us are dead season one questions but you know what it's fine we'll, we'll figure out how they do it uh i mean it's kind of about real zombies, like so. nom de room sort of uh like young young like you, you go through his uh his history of dramas and he's like plays so and so young so yeah, and so young, young, for young. a well, lot like you can he's 21 years while. old like he's 21 years old yeah. um and I think in this drama he's playing about a twenty-five year old, and he looks he looks twenty-five in it. But when he plays a teen, he looks like a teen. He's yeah, like in all of us are dead, he five. looks like he's a he high school. Looks like he's in high school. Um, so anyway, he's a good actor, and she's really cute and adorable as always. So yeah, do recommend, do recommend so far. Sky, what's one thing you've been watching? 
So for me, I'm going to talk about Call It Love. I'm still watching this. I think I'm eight episodes in. I believe it's 12 episodes. Um, 16 episodes. My apologies. Um, there are two episodes out that I haven't watched yet. It is So for the U.S., it's on Hulu. For a lot of other places, it's Disney+. Plus. Yeah, so Disney+. Plus however, you, however you wish to approach that. Um, so the, the lead actors and actresses are just th this cast is just wild. just let me lay it out for you if you are unaware the main leads kim young kwong and lee sung kyung wild like just that J just just think about that for a second then kind of secondary main roles you got sung Joon, <sighs> and then you you got an he yun Yep. And then you even have Kim Yi Won. So, like, that's who you're dealing with. Just, that's, uh, it's so good. Oh Hani's in it? Hani's in it? Yeah. It's got it all, so, babes. It's yeah. got it all. I'm so excited to start watching it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will, so it is, I cannot call it a slice of life because there's revenge plot. So, like, but as far as the tone, it's a very slow, very intentional, very beautifully shot revenge drama. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it's very, very introspective. And when I call it a revenge drama, it's just because they out and out talk about revenge. And, th like, that that is a thing, but it's a very inward-looking drama. You feel yeah. like the main characters are these very broken people for various reasons of their past and it's what made you know so they're both broken in very different ways um and then they end up working together and there's other machinations that you know overlap their lives and stuff but it's just magnificent like i cannot recommend it highly enough i i am keeping with it every single time it drops it's mm -hmm. yeah um another little bonus for me is like it the lead dude he he runs a business he's a co-ceo of a company that does like business fairs for like camping and stuff and he set up a tent in his apartment like he has a tent in his apartment because he likes camping so much like that's the only joy he gets out of life <laughs> sky would do that i feel so like but he's also the type like he he he's a workaholic because he runs this company and he's kind of the main ceo that actually does anything so he has to work really hard so he'll be staying at the office all weekend stuff like that and so in order to bring himself joy he puts one of those little fake campfires on his monitor of his computer oh, no. <laughs> and so the other co-ceo his best friend will call him trying to get him to go be a human and go socialize or something and he'll be like, stop being a pervert and watching other people look at a campfire and come out and hang with people. <laughs> and he usually just doesn't say anything and hangs up on him and continues to work. Like, that's the type yeah. of person he is. Um, but just so Lee Sung Kyung's character, she's the second. So you have siblings, you have the oldest daughter, she's the second daughter, and then they have a brother. They're con orphans now i suppose but anyway uh the level of anger that her character has just simmering the entire time mm. but sh but like not nonsensically like it explains and i i'm not gonna sit here and reveal anything about it so like i'm not gonna tell you but she she's justified she's just yeah well and the, and the drama is very good about it does keep some things a mystery for a while but like it lays out exactly what's going on mm -hmm. um but she's broke just the way that they're broken and they're both very introverted in different ways. And love that. Love a good introvert main character. Do a really good job. Um, yeah, it's just it's just really hard for me to explain how it's excellent. The storytelling is sometimes there's not even that much dialogue in a couple of scenes. Mm -hmm. Like they kind of just show a lot of stuff. And yeah, a lot of it's just people trying to survive, kind of. And so, I mean, it's not a show to approach when you're maybe in a bad mood, I suppose. Like, if you're maybe in a bad place, 
the main characters are kind of in a bad place too. So just keep that in mind. Like they're going through stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, going through it and it's not going to get much better anytime soon. So um, like I kind of wish I hadn't started it. Like it would, I, it's one of those things you, you're going to binge the heck out of it if it's something you like. Like yeah. it, it gives very, because this is my first life type gravity of stuff. So I'm thinking that Jesse's really gonna like it. As well. Yeah, I, think, I really I think, think I'm I think gonna Jessie love it. Jesse, I think you're gonna like it. You know, I think. You're and, gonna... and and that's why I'm like. I'm so glad it... I waited a little bit though. <laughs> yeah, right. It's because like I remember when I watched because this is my first life. Like I binged that thing in a yeah. day. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, and this is the type of show. <laughs> and this is the type of show I think Too that it, shows. if if it's the type of thing that hits everybody's you know hits your buttons like. Uh-huh. you're gonna want to just like eat it up no. S- sung Jun's character um is pretty much the best friend of the lead girl and uh they end up like living at his house and all this stuff and so he's just kind of around he's a pharmacist and so he has drinks with everybody all the time and they have conversations about life and the stuff so it's just so good, it's so good guys <laughs> um it's really also good. hulu has a really cool way of like if you're caught up on something, if you go like, it's if you go into Hulu, which I know for the Canadians it doesn't matter, but for the <laughs> Americans, if you go into Hulu and you're like, hey, I forgot like what day it's gonna drop or something, it'll tell you. But also, if you're caught up on a show that's still airing, it'll say you're all caught up. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Thank you. That's Thank nice. You. Thank you. That's handy. How kind. <laughs> so I highly recommend it. To everyone that would like that type of a show. <laughs> Go. Okay. Um, so my second pick is a bit of a wild card. Um, it was um, a little bit of a binge these past couple of days um, because I heard about the drama um, during our live stream on this past Saturday or mm-hmm. I guess when you're listening to this. Not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before. We did a uh, stream on J-Dramas. Mm-hmm. And oh, it was really fun. You should go check it, it out. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, but, um, yeah. And, like, good beginning J-Dramas. And we also then did, like, a fun little um, activity. Visual. A fun little activity, <laughs> activity. together. <laughs> um, and someone in the comments, I can't remember who it was. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Um it might have been Lucy. I it feel might like have been Lucy, it was probably But, like, Lucy. I don't want to, like, commit to I, I thought it was some... Yeah, I, thought, like, I thought it might have been the the person with an A name. Might, I don't it remember. It might have been the person from the, the, the lovely the woman from Bolivia. The might have been one us. person, and then yes. the other person was like, oh my god, I love it too. And then, like, then mm. it's... My brain is like, I don't... I don't remember anything. Um, but <laughs> it was mentioned during that live, um, and then I had to, like, look it up, and then I watched all of it. <laughs> Um, it's a 2010 drama. Um, the English title is The Wallflower, which if you're looking it up, there is like a 2009 J drama that's called The Wallflower 2. So like, Mm -hmm. they're completely different shows. So just know that like, if you're looking for it, you might not go to the right one, but you'll know pretty quickly based on the summary. Um, the... Japanese title is Yamato Nadeshiko Sichi Henj. Um, I don't... How do I explain this drama to you? It is a very <laughs> classically shoujo drama. It, Love there's it. A, obviously an anime. I'm kind of... I will say, like, I enjoyed this. I probably would have, like, absolutely like, died over the anime. Um, the J-drama doesn't really change much. Like, mm-hmm. it's in that era of, like, J-dramas where they kind of just still keep anime vibes yeah. in the J-dramas. So you're just watching the anime with people who are breathing, you know? <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> yeah, right. not much of a difference. So in that respect, if you don't like animes or have never watched animes before, you are going to hate this. Like, there's no question about <laughs> it. It's, it's wacky it's and crazy not like an anime. Um, <laughs> but essentially, there's this guy... Um, Kyohei, who is very, very good looking, like to the point that like everybody fawns over him. He can't like hold jobs because like just all these girls are always like lining up to look at him because he's so gorgeous and he's just having trouble with it. Um, and he is invited to live 
in um, the share house. Um, and he's invited to live there for free if he will help the, the woman who owns it help her niece become a lady. Classic. Um, classic. And, um, so he, he comes to the share house with three other equally as gorgeous, equally as like known for their, like how pretty they are in the neighborhood. Like <laughs> guys um, with the owner's like son. Who's I don't, I don't think they ever say his name. He's got to be under 10. Um, so they, um, <laughs> they're kind of tasked to make the girl a lady and she's um <laughs> she's uh like a horror girl she really likes everything goth and like Amazing. the macabre and <laughs> death and um it all stems from her confessing when she was in like school she confessed to her crush and he called her ugly so she kind of like <gasps> retreated because of that so she always wears bangs in her face and cloak and stuff. Mm. Um, she, But she is wacky and crazy and she literally has like mannequins in her room who are her best friend. Like one of them's oh. like her top best friend. Um, and it's like an <laughs> like a mannequin, like an anatomy mannequin too. So it's oh like boy. half of it's just like, you know, muscles and stuff. And there, there's even a, like a plot line where like one of the girls who's like in love with the, the main guy steals that because she's jealous. It's like a whole thing. Ooh. <laughs> um, it is. <laughs> that, that got an Italian. Italian. She's laughing. <laughs> you I gotta watch so this. Much. I have to watch Italian. it. It. I gotta I mean, watch this. It's just classically like anime, and it's classically like that kind of preteen teen drama. Even though like the the characters are like technically in college, besides the you know the son of the um, woman who owns the house. Um, but like you know the like wackiness and craziness of like <laughs> Safe by the Bell or something, where it's just like yeah. situations mm-hmm. where you're like, what is going on? That's what this show does. Like, it's just whacking crazy, like, that way. And then, of course, there's, like, the the obvious, like, the main lead um, starting to fall for the the girl. Um, and what's what's cool about it is the girl is, um, her name is Masa Aya, and she uh, was in Vampire Heaven. She was one of the vampires oh. in that. So it was really fun to see her. Um, uh, probably everybody knows Hamanashi. So, so, so she was leaning and, into that, like, yeah, she was, vampire it's, goth. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's as campy as that one. <laughs> like, if you like Vampire Heaven, you'd love this one, too. It's just a little well, bit I did like it's Vampire bit... Heaven, so. <laughs> I um, cannot remember Vampire Heaven. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I was like, I've just like taken it out of my brain, and it's um, yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it is really crazy. Like the the woman who owns the house, uh, she's very sweet and kind, and they have some like good moments with her. But like, it's really funny mm. when she's always checking in. She's always checking in from her private airplane because she's like ridiculously rich. Wow. <laughs> so this is like airplane and and the little boy is super cute like and it like does this like thing where it like it wants to be a whore and then it's like no this is like real life it's just like it may seem like a horror but it's like mostly just like her lurking around but then like there's an episode where there is a ghost and you're like what? <laughs> you're like wait a second wait a second, <laughs> wait a second. Oh, hang on so would you consider it a supernatural drama then because there was a ghost? I, yeah, it has to be. I mean, because the ghost wasn't even like a Scooby-Doo type thing. It was just really yeah. ghosts and there was like possessions and stuff. But like at the very beginning, wow. it's very clear like that like the horror is just like she's, you know, this like horror girl. <laughs> like there's like one point where she's like it's like fine I'll only watch one horror a day and she sleeps in a coffin like but it's like, <laughs> like it's not even like
like a like a real <laughs> incredible. Natalia is like say it's less. Like funny, it's not like selling when you've already sold. Like, <laughs> but, but it's so great because the coffin is on top of the bed, so like the bed and the bed <laughs> and it's like a zipper, so it's almost like a soft sided like camping thing. Just like incredible. The camping coffin. Yeah, camping. <laughs> Absolutely incredible! Bag. It's so much oh. fun. Like it, it's so bad. So it's am, so am I? Am I supposed to ask where this exists? Um, I watched no? it on a place. Okay, a place. A place. Oh. Cool, place. cool place. place. You know, yeah. it is on the internet. Yeah, you can find it. <laughs> believe in your dreams. In believe world. in your dreams. <laughs> believe in your dreams. <laughs> I believed and found it. So, um, so there you go. <laughs> But I, I actually had a lot of fun with it. It's it's silly, stupid, and as long as you go in there knowing that it's not supposed to be great, and it clearly is supposed to be like for preteens, like that's like who this mm-hmm. is written for. Because like you know, like, like the the love line is basically them just like little kiss or something. You know, it's nothing, mm-hmm. nothing yeah. like grand. It, it, if you go in with your brain switched to preteen mode, you're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have a fun really can't be really wacky very much highs and lows that is anime emotions and you'll be fine hmm. excellent i also went in the way back machine this month. <laughs> uh i Cocoa just added to their site a, a 2004 drama called forbidden love and it's also known as, if you look it up on MDL, you're going to find it as Nine-Tailed Fox. So, it's modern oh. gummy hose. It's got a real kind of Buffy the Vampire Slayer kind of a vibe to it almost. Like, huh. the outfits that they wear and, like, if a gummy hoe gets stabbed in the liver, it dusts the way you know, vampires <laughs> the do. little exploding like, confetti. Stuff. Um... <laughs> So the basic premise is hundreds or thousands of years ago or whatever, uh, humans rose up against their gummy ho overlords and with their sheer numbers drove, drove them almost to extinction and they live sort of like an underground hidden life now. Um, they have very few rules. They have a council that runs everything and... And the rules are like, you don't kill people. We only, we, they have to eat human livers to survive, but they like dig up already dead people and don't eat the fresh stuff anymore because that gets you in trouble. Um, and you can't fall in love with a human. No, I don't know if it's because they're so close to extinction that they're trying to like not spread out the genes or if it's because romance is what caused the uprising i don't know but like that is a hard no do not play with your food like it is a <laughs> no so sort, sort of like uh underworld Fuck, love that movie. yeah yeah that. so <laughs> she uh so the premise here we start with the cops are looking into an illegal organ trafficking ring they keep finding bodies with Liver's missing, and, like, that must be what it is, right? So there's a cop who goes undercover to look into this. Well, the Gummy Ho Council sends their, you know, strike team to check it out also because it could be illegal organ trafficking, or it could be some Gummy Ho's have gone off the rails, and we need to fix that. In the process of all of this, it turns out there are Gummy Ho's involved in this organ trafficking ring the cop sees a couple of them get dusted now he has witnessed them in their full glory and so she the main female lead gets sent to go take care of him wipe him out kill him so that he can't tell people about what he's seen and she's about to drive the striking blow but she sees you know his shirt falls open and he's wearing this locket well let's flash back when she was a child, her best friend slash first love, um, who has the same birthday as her, they exchanged on their like 13th or 14th or whatever birthdays lockets that they had 
both secretly bought for each other. Ooh. And we're like, haha, we bought the same lockets. That's so funny. And put their lockets on. And then evil ninjas attacked the birthday party. As 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 happens, as you know, do. it's a common occurrence, mean, I'm sure. Yeah, BFF lockets and then bam, ninjas. <laughs> bam, right? So all of their parents got murdered um, or if, thought listen, put up a real good fight. But, if they have parents, you know, what's the point of the drama? Like Exactly. So know, and then the somebody she sort of screams and runs at them to protect her dad, and he jumps in front of the sword that's meant for her. And then the good gummy hosts show up and save her. Uh, as far as she knows, he died because he got stabbed. Um, she gets raised by these gummy hosts, and she's part of this elite fighting force of five, like, young, young-ish, you know, kids that were raised together to fight and, and all this stuff. Uh, he, by episode three, is getting, like recruited by a secret government agency that is like fights gummy hose and like is trying to like wipe them out because they're predators against humanity. <laughs> it's like and... Riley's organization. Yeah, yeah. basically. He's the, like, yeah, exactly. So um it's you know, how, she's far, how far how far how far along did you get? Three well I'm three, three and a half episodes in now. Like it moves along really fast. The fight scenes are excellent and they're long and there's a lot of fight scenes and mm. like training montages and stuff. It's very good sort of background stuff because there is conversation, but like there's a lot of like gummy ho politics going on because like some of the council members are trying to like, they believe they deserve to return to their former glory and we should be ruling over the, cows the cows shouldn't be ruling over us kind of you know mentality mm. and uh yeah it just and then you know the cuts to the back and the forth and the everything and so she suspects that maybe he is but basically the deal you find out in like the second episode that he didn't die obviously he got a liver transplant that saved his life his sister <coughs> has no memory of, of the day <coughs> like, classic classic the trauma has like blanked out her memory from that time so the cops basically put them into witness protection and like and sent them off to like give them new names and sent them off to be adopted by a, a nice family they've been raised well by day the the gummy ho main female lead works in a museum with the male lead's younger sister who is trying to set them up together and the gummy ho girl like fights she wears a like a veil that covers half of her face so he doesn't know she's the gummy ho person that he keeps coming up against but she recognizes him you know what the veil also very useful for when you're doing a lot of stuff with stunt performers <laughs> that's true yeah. that's so, like, <laughs> but but I, I do want to ask because i watched about 15 minutes of the first episode of this. <laughs> okay. The veil, does it continue to be like a very see-through veil? Yeah. It's, <laughs> so, 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 it's like Clark Kent putting his glasses on. <laughs> it's like it's, it, is, it is black, but it's it's yeah. like trans, you know, you can yeah. kind of you can <laughs> see a little bit. And her eyes are very distinctive, so like, yeah, he's just like... dumb, but whatever. <laughs> so, and, and, <laughs> I do I do wish to point out so this she did mention this 2004 the resolution on this show like it's fuzzy like ju just oh, like yeah. it, 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 if you're interested just know that it, it looks like it's 2004 the special effects like at one point like the fight scenes are good but the special effects are not great so like there's a scene in the first fight scene where she jumps off a car at him or something. And I think it's meant to look like it's in like super fast thing, but they do that thing where they slow it way down and <laughs> cut frames out of it to make you think she's moving fast. And it's weird. Yeah, classic, it just, classic. Basically, uh -huh. it looks like one of those Animorphs covers. Like, yep. she just... <laughs> <laughs> well, that... Like, it, yeah. It's so weird. They, they but, do... They, they like their wire okay. work a lot, too. Yes. They really like Lots their wire Lots of wire work. work. It... I, and it's 
it's sort of serious. Like it, it, there's a very mellow romance, like lost love and sadness over dead parents and stuff going on. But then there's also this politics of the gummy hose and the, and the fight scenes and all this stuff. But like the episode I was just watching before I came in here, the like government agency and the gummy hose are fighting each other and they're in front of a church fighting each other and they like they're going at it they're trying to kill each other and then this children's choir starts walking out from the church singing <laughs> and they all just stop and like <laughs> you know like i guess we're done for today bye like because that feels so what we do in the shadows with the yeah, like, werewolves yeah. versus vampires yeah, it does it does <laughs> So that's, that's on Cocoa, is it? It is. And it's both. Not- Cocoa, it's, I mean, Vicky, the Cocoa oh, side of Vicky, Cocoa too. Standard. It's on both. Yeah. Cool. So it's, is it good? Eh, but it's very watchable and entertaining. So, like, Fair enough. sometimes mm-hmm. that's all you need. As yeah. far as, as far as how, I, I mean, as how, I, I don't know how Amanda came across it. It's essentially, it was, you know, quote unquote, new series, yeah. but it, essentially they decided to put up this 2004 drama. <laughs> so like, I was like, like oh. I don't know why, but like, okay, I'll take it. So thank you. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Fair enough. It, so. so you know how like earlier this year, um, Sky was talking about like, oh, I think Alchemy of Souls is going to be my favorite drama of the year. Like I know yeah. it's early, but I think I think I've also found my favorite drama. Of the year. Ooh. <laughs> um, okay. I'm about to make a bold statement. Like, okay. Someone's gonna should, have to should work we write it down? Someone's gonna have to work. Like, a drama's gonna have to work pretty hard. Clip this, and then this yeah, December we'll to, see. Yeah, we'll find out. <clears throat> so, I picked up Unlock My Boss. Okay. Um. Just it looked. I want to tell you that, you know how some dramas have really misleading graphics that really don't, like, indicate mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. what you're about to witness? Um, so, Unlock My like, Boss... Like looked- Crash Course in Romance? Yeah, Just- exactly. But, <laughs> so, Unlock My Boss looked like it was going to be, like, a goofy, like, hoo like, oh no, like, his soul gets stuck in a phone. <laughs> like... Like, legit, like, it looked like it was going to be goofy. When I tell you, this was not a goofy drama. Mm. Like, this drama, like, there were goofy moments in the drama. But it was, at its core, not silly in any way. Mm. So, basically, it it lives in a slightly, a world that's slightly more advanced technologically than we are right now. Like, they have, like, really good, like, VR and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Sure, sure. So you're you're led into um, this man, Kim Sun-ju, who's, like, he's essentially, like, the, you know, Steve Jobs vibe, <laughs> like, you know, like, who's, <clears throat> who's working on creating a few things. Self-driving cars is, like, his big project. And the other big project is, like, the the best like a like ai phone ai you've ever heard but of course he's got like enemies from like other companies and like his subsidiary like he's a subsidiary his company's technically a subsidiary of a giant electronics company you know like how they all own each other's shares and all that and so one night on literally on his way to meet his daughter he has he's a single father like his wife died of cancer and he has like this really adorable little like five-year-old and he's on his way to like meet her and like the nanny and the butler who take care of her and he gets stopped on the side of the road and then the next thing you know he wakes up but he's in a phone and something he doesn't know what's happened to him and all he knows is he's now stuck in this phone and so then he happens upon um this out of work actor down on his luck sad sack who's incredibly like he's a very moral guy and that has done nothing to help him at all in his life. It has actually done the opposite. And he's like, listen, I'll pay you. And he has the phone, starts talking to him. And he's like, I'll pay you a million dollars to become the CEO, like the new CEO of my company, like appointed by me in my, while I'm on, you know, a sabbatical. I'm going to like hire you and like, you know, sending in all like the appointment files through like the internet and stuff. To, but like, you have to just do what I say. And so we're going to get to the bottom of who, like, tried to kill me. Because I don't remember anything, but my body's gone and I'm stuck in this phone. Okay. That's, like, the 
basic plot and then you know you get all the corporate stuff when i tell you i did not see where this was going and I was like, how are they going to, like, make this work? Because magic doesn't exist in this world. Uh-huh. Okay? I was blown away. This show is so good. And it's it's only 12 episodes. Like, it's not a particularly long show. And it's incredibly heartfelt. Like, you find out all about, you know, like, his strained relationship with his daughter that then this, you know, 28-year-old guy comes in and is like, well, yeah, I'll be nice to your daughter because, like, she's five. She doesn't, like, you're gone. Like, you're missing. Nobody knows where you are. And then you you find out about his secretary who, like, uh, you know, has her own problems. And then you find out about all the people who work in his company and, like, all the machina- And It's just so good. And I, I don't even know what to say about it that I can do it justice. I was shook it by how much I enjoyed this show. Hmm. Like, it was so good. It also has, um, what's his face? Uh, Kim Sung-ho, who, uh, he, he was in, uh, Luca. He played, like, the evil dude with the fucked up arm in Luca. Um, <laughs> like, he's like, you, you know, The you description. Know. You know. Um, and he plays, like, a, a, a gangster, um, who's, like, a loan shark who then gets hired as this guy's bodyguard. And, He's a delight, and but like he's not. He's like he's a bad guy, but he's also so, a delight. It's so, so what good. genre would you put this in? <sighs> um, because I think that's the big question, isn't listen, it? It's got so much. It's got everything. Like there's a little <laughs> bit of humor. There's a little bit of like mystery. There's a little bit of thriller. There's some action. There's you know the corporate you know shenanigans. There's the family drama because you you find out about like. Not only the CEO's family, but, like, the the kids, you know, the 28-year-old dude's, like, strained relationship with his father. And, like, it's... Hmm. Sh- like, the writer killed it, okay? Like, I don't know... I don't know how... Like, they... It's... Okay. At the same time, the writer's also the writer who wrote Sweet Home, so, like... Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like... The quality, right, you know, of taking what seems like an absurd concept and, like, grounding it deeply in, like, reality and personal, interpersonal conflicts. Um, it w- I, I don't know what to say. I just loved it so much. Like, so ugh. I'm hearing that you recommend it highly. Do you recommend it to almost everybody? Or is there a certain <laughs> type of person that you think would dig it? Okay, you gotta really be okay with corporate shenanigans mm-hmm. to find it as good as I did, okay? okay? Sure. Um, I I can't think of anyone who this would, like, they'd be, like, they'd be like, oh, God, this is, you know, like, I, I can't deal with this content, you know? Like, there's nothing <laughs> particular, like, there is a few, like, you know, mentions of, like, suicide and stuff, so if that's triggering, um, you know, that maybe, like, you know, murder's getting, you know, framed as suicide type situations um Mm. if you can't like pretend like it's it's posited as though it's like right now but it's slightly more advanced right now if you know what i mean so if you can't like get your head around that and be like yeah but this vr technology doesn't exist yeah yeah okay we're pretending (laughs) better technology there is some suspension of disbelief going on obviously it's a man on a phone so it's pretty wacky but like when I tell you the that they I I was not expecting them to tie it all together as well as they did by the end. So like just know, cool. I was I was impressed. Um, so. uh, well, I think it speaks unto itself that like you're claiming that you think this is gonna be your top like, drama top, of the year. Like, like that's I, pretty okay. big. I rated it a nine point five out of ten, which that's is high. like. That's high. Because, like, there's only a few dramas I've rated higher, and one of them is happiness. So, like, <laughs> like just, you know, it's it's up there for me. Um, I love I loved it so much. I know, and what, and, is still good. And what platform again? It is on Viki, and it is also on Netflix now. So Yeah, I was like, I thought I kind of saw it on yeah, Netflix. Yeah, I, I watched it on Viki, but it is also on Netflix. So, and it is Chef's Kiss. I, all the acting was incredible. Like the guy in the phone's played by Sark, uh, Park Sung Woo. So like, mm-hmm. there you go. You, like 
he's not picking garbage prod projects. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. but, they, uh, and they had to pay him. You know that he got paid. To, you yeah, know, well, like he it was a up as himself, but he's mostly just dude in phone, like voice, <laughs> voice coming out of phone. And it's actually kind of funny because they'll have like the phone on the little like rotating like. Uh, like stand so like when the phone's talking it'll like rotate towards the person it's talking to but it's still <laughs> just a phone the phone becomes like a personality in of itself it's really well done I so really funny. enjoyed it I really enjoyed it um yeah high high praise. high praise and it's like and I'm not I'm listen I'm not rating every drama 9.5 willy-nilly out here okay usually <laughs> most of my dramas get rated between seven and eight all right if you're if you're in the nine range, this drama's impressed me. It was I didn't see it coming. Like it was nice, shocking how much I liked it. So yeah, A plus, A plus from Old Natalia for Unlock My Boss. So I'm I'm torn on what to discuss. So I am going to discuss a, an older drama which is not on my twelve for twelve challenge for like 2016, I believe. But um, but it can I be. might switch it. At, yeah, I might. I, I think my I, I'm going to need to redo my challenge. I've already figured that out for this month because it's <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> just I won't get into that because that will use up all my time. But so I'm going to actually discuss one more happy ending or <gasps> yay or yay! Ha happy once again. I think is what it's called on Vicky. I knew you um, love it. I know that's what I, I knew she like, loved so, this guy so drama. I am I am not quite done. I binged the heck out of it for like a day and a half i must have had the i don't know what it might have been time that i had you know obviously i had time to yeah. do that mm -hmm. uh and, and i do this like so i'll get to like right before like super happy parts of a drama or something or kind of a or maybe an intense drama or something and i'm like i kind of get to the climax moment mm -hmm. and then like if life takes me away it's hard for me to get back into yeah. it yeah yeah mm -hmm. uh because i want to be ready to finish the whole because i want to be able to binge those, those last few episodes like the, mm -hmm. the, everything to be correct the situation right. is good I, yeah. I i don't i don't want to sit down and watch half of an episode like yeah, that's no. that's that's no. why um but i did i did i tore through this drama um so even though i'm not done i really 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 enjoy it I mean, as far as the cast look like it's like a so so as far cast. as like what pulled me in? You got Jung Na Ra and you got Jung Kyung Ho. Oh. Like, oh. yeah. I, wow. There's no way I'm going to say no to that. And that's just like, the beginning. Like, yeah. there's so yeah. much more in it, too. <laughs> you got you and Ah. Yeah. You have you da in. You're like, Dara. There, there's a lot. You got it all. Dara. Right. Dara's in there. <laughs> yeah. So, as far as what it's about, um, like failed girl group, idol girl group situation as far as their past. And that comes up some, but it's not like that is the central plot line anymore because that is their past. That is where they came from years and years ago. So now, kind of how they you know, know they're each other. right. As far as how, how is there a group of three women friends and then they have a fourth non friend? <laughs> well, they were, they were angels. They were the group together. Um, so, so now they're in their 30s, and one of them, well, two of them, run a business that's about, like, finding remarriage partners for usually wealthy people. Let's just be honest with the types of, like, that's the type of people that she typically discusses. Um, I, I can't even get it, like, it's just super cute. Like, mm -hmm. she's divorced, um, one of the friends, her marriage is on the rocks, she has a kid, and her, her marriage kind of felt, you know, is kind of obviously on the rocks because the focus on the kid, essentially. Yeah. Because uh, it was very difficult for them to have a child, and they eventually did, and she was very happy, but it kind of eroded their relationship, obviously. Um, and then you have... <laughs> You and I uh, trying to look like a frumpy like kindergarten oh, teacher, oh, <laughs> trying, trying their best. <laughs> All it is is she's wearing glasses, fake freckles, and like they made her hair frizzy. That's yeah. really basically they like tousle her hair every single like time right before <laughs> yeah. they nice. record. And then uh, Jung Kyung Ho, he's 
he's essentially a tabloid journalist, like if you get right down to it. Um, but he's not he's not like a bad dude. That's just his yeah. job. He's not trying to like harm anybody. Um, and that kind of becomes a plot line as far mm-hmm. as it, it's not that he was heartless and never thought about the harm that it might cause people, but like when it starts being someone that he eventually cares for even before he really has romantic like mm-hmm. when it when it's someone he starts to get to know it's like oh no this would bring harm to yeah. this person now i'm thinking more deeply about maybe that's not great that i'm causing harm to people so um and he's he's a single dad i know he and the <laughs> kid is adorable kid. I know. i'm I trying to remember that. how old the kid is the kid is like He's not, like, super... A quick. precocious, tw- like, a super precocious 12, 13. Like, yeah. yeah, he's, like, old enough to, like, tell the dad, like, things and be like, you should do this and, like, try yeah. to, like, help the dad along in his journey. But, like, older yeah, as f- kid. yeah, as no, far as, like, you. who's actually the more mature of those two <laughs> men in that family? The kid. The yeah. kid is always having very sensible conversations with, like, women that are around him, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you need to date my dad because my dad's lonely. Like, how do yeah. we make this happen? You you need to have a game plan for how you're going to seduce my father. Like, that it's like, is what wouldn't, you need to wouldn't do. Wouldn't you love to be my stepmom? <laughs> like, <laughs> have I got and a deal well, of a lifetime for well, you? And, and he keeps saying, and he's not trying to be, like, uber self-sacrificial, but he's like, I don't really need a mom. My dad is enough. Like, my dad needs mm. a woman, though. So, c- can mm. we make that happen? Like, it's just super cute. Um... And they're essentially childhood friends. They were Romeo and Juliet. Like, so the leads were Romeo and Juliet back in like school days. And it didn't end well because he got sick right when he was supposed to kiss her. Oh no. (laughs) So there's all those bad feels at first. Um, So it's not, there's slight enemies to lovers. Like, but not really. Like, yeah. realistically, th- they end up just kind of having this cute relationship of try to be friends like we were childhood friends. I don't really want to reveal a ton about the details because yeah. it's just really cute. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there's a second lead that's a doctor, blah, blah, blah. He's divorced, all this stuff. So, super cute. I highly, highly recommend it. It, it feels... As far as 2016, it feels like it's made now. Like, there's really no datedness to it that I can really remember. Um, it's really funny. Jong Nara, like, she sells it. Like, of course she, she does. does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She is an absolute goddess. Um, so... The friends are really good together. I like them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, the, the, you know, they'll meet up for, like, coffee or whatever. And the, their situations all keep changing, and the show follows you know, each friend kind of what's up with them and stuff. Mm. And so then they'll come back. So like sometimes a couple of the friends will be happy because finally, like they kind of got so- something straightened out with their relationships or whatever. But then the next time they meet, like everyone's sad. And then they're, it's like, why is everybody like, everything just keeps getting worse for us. Like what the crap? Like, it's just so funny. Know. So, um, highly recommend. I'm sure I'll talk about it a little next time, but it's great. It's great. I, I'm sure there was more since I haven't watched it in about a week or two now. Like it's hard for me to quite mm. remember because I've been watching a heck ton of shows. But <laughs> the struggle is real. Yeah. <laughs> but just it know that I, I wish I wish I could. I mean, so I'm on episode twelve. I binged twelve episodes like in a day and a half. Like yeah, it it, it is bingeable. Wow. It's like really easy. Like to just oh, like kind of flow through it. Super easy. And it is, it is one of those, when are they gonna get together? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. So Vicky, I think just Vicky, it might be over on Kokowa too. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. I think I'm but watching on, on Vicky, Vicky for sure. On Vicky for sure. Yeah. So now we go into our speed round. So speed Jackie, round. Do, 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 speed do, round. I know you've been, you've been watching quite a bit. So give us, give us a little pricey. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, so in completed <laughs> land. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I, I watched this J-drama called Residential Complex. It was okay. It's got kind of a good found family. A, a, a bunch of people who buy into like a, you know, like a condo type situation. Follows them and infertility and all that stuff. Um, I finished um, 
Um, the one that I was really liking on a starry night or whatever it's called. I'm sorry, mm. I'm reading from um my drama list, and so all my <laughs> Japanese dramas are in Japanese title. Yeah, and yeah. I okay, don't try, yeah, it's don't hard. Try. Yeah, it's like, fine. Oh. Um, there was a storyline that I hated that kind of like brought down a lot of that drama for mm-hmm. me, but like I still liked everything else about it. Um, I watched this. I started uh, it. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, good, yay! Um, <laughs> I do think like pretty much everybody would probably like it it's it's pretty good um then i started this uh or started i uh watched in in like literally like a day or so I, no it was like a day um this silly drama j drama called kakafu kaka yay, <laughs> yay! I, I i watched that too um by the cl- way a classic caper it did don't work it's a classic, <laughs> it's a classic. it's a classic J-caper. except for when he's near her um, yeah. So there we go. She got um, she got magical dick healing powers. If, if you if you're shocked by that, like really being a summary, no, that's really the summary of the that's show. Literally like, that's literally the plot of the show. Like it's if you're like, oh, happens. she's. It's like if it's, you're thinking like, oh, Natalia's just making a joke about one small part of the, no. It's that no, is I'm the not. Show. that is the plot of the show. Oddly weird <laughs> and um, okay, even with that, like yeah, set up. It's 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 still deeply weird, but J drama. So. <laughs> Um, uh, the reason I dress up, I might have talked about it the Mm -hmm. past episode or whatever. I know I've talked about it on episodes. Uh, I finished that. I really like that. That's, I highly recommend that as a J drama that's on Vicky. Um, I think everything that I've said has been on Vicky. Uh, so if you want a good J drama, that one is a a solidly, I think every single person on this podcast would like it plus other people. It's good. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't remember if I talked about this in the last watch. Uh, I watched this day drama, um, mostly because Natalia, she got me <laughs> color of romance. Don't watch it. It's the worst drama. <laughs> got it. I, I got you good. I, I literally see, I... rated it a one. It got me. <laughs> <good. laughs> I need to say to, to anyone out there who thinks I was like maliciously conning her into watching a bad she drama, was. I was very, I was not. I was very upfront <laughs> with how fucked up it was. And I was very upfront. I'm just like, man, I just watched the most messed up J drama. And then she's like, well, I'm going to go watch it. So I'm like, no, no, no. There was no, there was no conning was that happened. Um, <laughs> and then really quickly, uh, just what I'm watching. Um, I, I'm watching Delivery Man, like we said. I'm um, watching this a really great show that we're going to talk about more on Patreon, but uh, Midnight Museum. Yes. Uh, I started mm-hmm. UMG. It's like Unidentified Mystery Girl, I think it is. It's a Thai drama. Um, it stars the girl who's in Midnight Museum, so it's very weird mm-hmm. to be watching both of them. And, and <laughs> it's it an alien show. And has a man on in it, too, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I just started it. it. It's good. It's not as good as museum, Midnight Museum, but it's it's like Midnight Museum's pretty good. So like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm still uh, watching MIU 404 Mobile Investigation Unit 404 Japanese drama uh, with Netflix. Jen Hoshino, Netflix buddy cop drama. It's really great. It's one of those like I just like watch a couple of episodes and then move on and come back. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, then Zen Ruko, we talked about. It. I was watching. Um, I started First Love because we're going to be doing an episode about it later mm-hmm. on. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm also watching this show. It's like called like <sighs> Class 3A, I Have You Hostage Now or something like that. It's a thriller <laughs> um, where literally um, a guy has taken his classroom hostage and is trying to get Ooh. them to reveal the information about a death of one of the classmates. It's like a wow. very like thriller people mm-hmm. die type thing um i'm watching this show called kendaichi um uh, or like it's like i don't remember it's, it's kendaichi it's on hulu it's literally like um murder she wrote but with like a high school student <laughs> essentially Ooh, and it's just like fun really big it's a, J- a japanese drama so it's gonna be on disney plus for everybody else um but it's like a a, a series that's like a very known and well like known and like there's like a bunch of different adaptions in Japanese dramas like since the 90s so there's that um and then a couple of others but I'm not gonna talk about them so 
<laughs> I'm watching a lot and I've watched a lot and that's like only with like half of my month being able to watch stuff so oh. yeah. <laughs> listen living the life living the life um I'm still watching Viva Famina it took a bit of a turn and I wasn't very happy about it but it it's still good so I'm gonna keep watching it uh one episode at this point, one episode left until the love in your eyes is done. I'm a little mad because it was supposed to be 120 episodes. It's 123 so that they can finish it, never it up ends. on it a never week. never ends. And like, they added three episodes and just stretched out the nonsense. Like, just give us three episodes of them being happy together at the end. Like, no, no, no. We got to get three episodes of the There's of the one episode being... left and they're still not together. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, we had to get extra episodes of the mother-in-law being the most selfish, awful person you've ever oh seen in God. your life. Don't, like, no. We, get, we, we can't get them happiness. We need that it, oh, sweet, so sweet, frustrating. bitchy content. You know? <laughs> um... My sister and I are still not finished Black Dog. We, we've got plans to like get together and just bang out those final episodes and get it done. But she's just like, I'm just bored. It should have been 12 episodes. I'm just going to say that. It should have been 12 episodes. Episode 12 ends on the school season ending. And then inexplicably, we move into the next year. Like, stop. Stop. But so we took a break. We're watching um, soundtrack number one, which hmm. is good. Hmm. It's quite easy horrible. watch. Very so, uh, yeah. Um, I am still watching Moonlight Chicken. Um, a bunch of those stuff that Jesse mentioned also, um, and my twelve for twelve challenge. I didn't want to watch Nail Shop Par Paris, so I put Last Cinderella on. Well, Last Cinderella is not on Vicky anymore. It disappeared oh, since it. January. So oh. I'm like, what am I going to do? So I, uh, I put up, a, I did what Natalia did. I put in 2013 on my drama list, you know, pop. And most scrolled popular, until you found and scrolled one. scrolled until I found something that I hadn't already I think watched you or dropped, right? Like Last Cinderella, like the J-drama. Mm. yeah yeah i think you would have liked so, it too dang yeah exactly so oh, yeah. i uh i found four that i was like maybe i could watch these i put up a poll on twitter and like overwhelmingly the response was um goo family book or prime minister and i but really you should watch miss korea so i put up another poll with <laughs> miss korea and prime minister and i and goo family book and miss korea won I started all three of them, so whatever. <laughs> um, I I don't think Goo Family Book is going to survive the first two episodes, but it is an interesting little story. You get the backstory. Your own mini bracket. Those, so, you know, but... March Madness. Um, but Prime Minister and I and Miss Korea, they're very different, but they're also very just... 2013 rom-com kind of mm. vibes going on, so... I'm kind of into it. So, so we'll douchey dude, is that what that means? I'm just curious because sometimes sometimes that's what 2013 means. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Sorry, you weren't asking me, but I'm gonna tell you. But, yeah. yeah. Prime Minister and I is a very like enemies to lovers. Like she's a tabloid reporter and he's the youngest prime minister and he's a douche. But he's also a single dad and very sad about the death of his wife seven years earlier or whatever. And she's young and fun and nice to his kids. Like, she's basically, she interviews him and is like, oh, so you're a bad dad. And he's like, damn, girl. Like, <laughs> you didn't have to read me like that. Like, but but 20, 2013 kind of was the year where it was like, oh, she bluntly spoke to me. Now I'm in love. Yeah. yeah. I have a degradation <laughs> kink yeah, so I didn't know about. <laughs> like I mean, it basically starts with, I thought I'm, I missed something because it starts with them, like, being announced as husband and wife. And I was like, where's the drama? Like, what? But no, it's, and then they, and also they hate each other. They're announced as husband and wife and hate each other's guts. So it's a contract marriage, baby. So <laughs> yeah, That's why I initially watched it I, back in the day. Like, <laughs> And Miss Korea is a bit messy, but it's also cute. So, like, I don't know. I, I've i got all three of them going, and I just scroll until I decide which one I'm in the mood for at the moment. And press play. So, let's, 
yeah, that's basically it. So, while I um, am always watching about a billion things um, and finishing a billion things, I decided to keep it to just, I picked five. I picked five to talk about that I'm also watching. Uh, so, for ones that I have finished so far, um, I finished End of the World with You, which is a, a J drama about um, a meteor is headed to Earth. And everyone's going to die in 10 days. And so this gay man in Japan is like, well, you know what I want to do in my last days? I just want to go to the library and read books by myself. And because like he has a bad relationship with his mom. He doesn't have many friends and he only ever had one boyfriend and it ended horribly. But then who happens to be at the library but his ex-boyfriend that was awful to him. And the ex-boyfriend's like, we should stay together for the last 10 days but then things go awry because then it turns out that there's like a he i listen i can't even say what he was doing but it involves like there, there's a teenager that they sort of adopt and then they adopt this other person like and so they're just going on a road trip to return this teenager to his family before the world ends um and then okay. it gets weird and then, <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. like th things happen that are very strange, and it has a very curious ending. Um, it it was a thing, and I watched it, and it was it was a thing. Uh, it was and that's on Vicky. That's on Vicky, and I think yep. it's on Gaga Law as well. Mm. Um, it's a it's a strange little show, but it, it, it wasn't <laughs> bad. It wasn't bad. I also finished for my twelve twelve challenge this month. Um, I watched the winter, that winter, the wind blows. And when I tell you that I have not seen a drama that had more fucked up relationship dynamics than this one, holy That's saying something shit. considering the no, Thai dramas is, that you listen, have watched. No, listen, I was watching this and I was like, how are they, how are, what? And then my husband's like, I was like explaining how fucked up, like everyone in this drama is. My husband's like, yeah, it does sound pretty fucked up. Like. Mm. Wasn't mm. that like super duper popular back it's in the day? Yes, it okay. is. It still gets to yeah. it all the yeah. time. Listen, and it's it's not a bad drama. Like I, I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was like, listen, Scent of a Woman was way better. Like I really started the twelve twelve a little too strong with that drama, <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like it was it was a good drama. It was like it was very much a con man who has the same name as his friend who was like the son of a conglomerate family but who was had been like his mother had divorced the father so he had been separated from him for years but then he dies this all happens very quickly obviously and then his blind little sister who's now an adult and technically will inherit has been looking for him and so his friend who's a con man who has the same name as him accident it's really sort of he doesn't mean to take over his identity it sort of happens by accident, but then he's like, he, but he needs a lot of money because he's, 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 he owes money to some gangsters who want him dead. So he's like, well, I guess I got to pretend to be this woman's, this blind woman's brother. And just remember that sentence. I got to be the blind woman's brother. And then you can yeah. see where I'm going with that. <laughs> that to get real quick. Uh. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and she knows, like, nothing about how the world works because she's been kept, like, sequestered in the house the whole time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. Anyway, I watched it, and it was fine. Um, so <laughs> I completed the challenge. Yeah, I, I did. It was, I think I gave it, like, a, a seven. Like, it was, it was fine. It was fine. It was fine, you know? And, okay, so I picked, I picked three shows that I'm watching currently, and they're all pretty gay. So Shock. now for Natalia's gay corner. Um, <laughs> so I'm currently watching uh, Our Dating Sim, which is another uh, short Korean BL about an illustrator who goes to work at a company where that's making a dating sim. But it turns out that the guy that he confessed to the last day of high school and then ran away from thinking that he was going to, you know, get rejected horribly is the lead programmer who recruited nice. him personally because... He might not have wanted to run away. Like he would have, he was not going to reject him. Um, so anyway, it's very cute. It's you know just cute vibes. Um, 
Also, cute, silly vibes. I'm watching A Boss and a Babe. It's on YouTube. So, our dating sim's on Viki. The other two were also on Viki. Um, a Boss and a Babe's on YouTube. It's only a couple weeks in. It's very goofy, but it's very cute. Um, dude is an intern at a gaming company, and oh no, the boss is hot. <laughs> like that plot that, listen, yeah, that's all that's all you need yep. um mm-hmm. and then i'm finally watching it's called bed friend and i just listen i'm like all in it on this drama but i need to warn people about this drama okay it's good i'm not warning it because it's bad i'm warning people because the advertisements are like sexy erotic fun times Ooh, they're enemies but they fucking like it's like you know but the actual drama, the actual drama is we're going to show you the most traumatized man you've ever met in your life. He's been abused by everyone who ever met him and continues to be so. So he's really mean to this guy at work who really likes him. But then they start being fuck buddies and people are still really awful to him. Anyway. <laughs> and so if you cannot handle I, this, is, this is my warning I, I need to say this for anyone it's on IG if you cannot handle child abuse uh, of multiple natures it doesn't it's not like explicitly showing things but you know what's going on okay like because they're not going to put a child actor and then you, you know what I mean like, right yeah but like if you cannot handle that if you cannot handle like dating violence uh like don't watch it just just don't you don't need to do it okay you can just you can just watch literally and And by the way the dating violence is not from either like the his guy that it's from it's from like his his ex you know the most like the most abusive mother you've ever seen an, an abusive stepfather who's you know you know what I mean you got this gross ex like it's awful like this poor guy anyway he's the saddest man you've ever met in your entire life but the show is very well filmed and it's well acted it's just I was not I was not expecting you were not mentally prepared to deal with that well listen I'm always mentally prepared to deal with that because that's not any of my triggers right so like it doesn't well but but you you weren't prepped for like hyper was, trauma yeah i was taken aback shall i say so That's i then I had to go warn people yep. to be like hey by the way uh the advertising for this said it was just gonna be sexy fun it's sexy but there's no fun like the two of them together that's sexy fun but everything else mm. so anyway <laughs> I, but i'm really doing that's what i achieve for anyone who who doesn't have problems with that and neither it is from the lead like it's not from the romantic thing so He's, he's a very res- he's a very generous respectful lover the, the guy that he hooks up with. so don't worry about it. it's just everyone else who's awful uh so yeah so that's that's a little slice of the pie of what is watching sky take us away okay i'm gonna try to rapid fire things uh so things that i have finished Island part two. I'm not going to say a lot about it. Go watch mm-hmm. it. There's a lot mm-hmm. of episodes of setup still. I will tell you that <laughs> as far as like the last battle is kind of the last three episodes, maybe. So just know that going in that it's not like going to be the whole shebang. So like, yeah, that's a okay. thing. Really well done. Of course, it was marvelous. Um, I watched the movie Confidential Assignment one mm-hmm. places. Um, I will be watching the second one soon. <laughs> places <laughs> don't worry be- about it because Hyunbin being a North Korean spy of course I'm watching it it was fun yeah. um, so was, that is what I have finished aside from like we already have talked about New Employee Crash Course in Romance oh my mm. we've talked about these things so I don't need to go over these so as far as what I am watching uh, One Dollar <laughs> Lawyer so I guess I will start off with I am watching Taxi Driver 2. Enjoying it, but I think the vibes are lighter than season one. Hmm. That might be a benefit to some or not to others. Just <laughs> know your that it seems <laughs> yeah. like I really enjoy it because it's my jam. Like, that's my thing. Uh, but yeah. So the whole thing of why I'm watching One Dollar Lawyer starts with that character, the main character of One Dollar Lawyer, is going to make a cameo in Taxi Driver 2. Nice, nice. There was a little, like, you know, 
preview of, of an upcoming mm-hmm. episode. So I was like, shoot, I need to like, if, if it's the same vibe, I need to go check out one dollar lawyer and He's sure a lawyer enough with unusual flair his hair has a stylish perm <laughs> yes and sure yeah. enough not that he beats people up but he's kind of a crazy guy love it and he he sure likes solving people's Wait, really are, set are you telling me that nam Goong min plays a crazy dude on a show shocking say it isn't what? so say it isn't so, so sky so it's based on a comic and they they try to make it feel like that so like just know that uh it's cute so far lawyer shenanigans so like why do i end up watching lawyer stuff i don't know i always do it's it's what happens so I mean, you need to admit you like it like yeah. just a bit of, just so the right thing now. about the thing about <laughs> these two shows though is i haven't quite gotten to the episode but in one dollar lawyer last year or the year before te- the te- like the taxi driver anyway there's been cameos. It's not that they're like crossing over a ton, but there's some crossover. And what I wanted to say about One Dollar Lawyer, it's be- he takes like really sad cases from like people that really, really need help for just a dollar. So he'll like help a kid whose grandpa is being abused, like things like that. And so it's like, he's a goofy dude, but he's like helping people that really need help. And I'm like, oh, my heart, it's warm <laughs> now. So, so that's why it's same vibes as Taxi Driver, right? Like, mm. helping people that seriously need it. And so, th- sounds like the crossover in Taxi Driver is going to be, I think he shows up and kind of takes a case for a dollar type situation. Like, here's my card, you know, uh-huh. if you need yeah. something. So, that is being super fun. Which, of course, put me on a Namgung Min moment Mm -hmm. so i don't know how long this moment is going i cannot promise that i'm in an era yet i'm in a moment so far (laughs) let his his tired eyes bring you home sky pretty much she's gonna be in an era she's in an era we're not we're not talking about it so the veil so that made me start the veil which i wanted to watch when it was currently airing but i didn't get around to it the funny thing about the veil is Anyway, one of the one of the other actors in the veil is also in One Dollar Lawyer with him. Like, it's just funny. So they have close ties on both shows. Whatever. The veil. Love it, love it. Most people would not like it, probably. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. Um <laughs> and psychological trauma, you know, brainwashing things. Spy stuff. Spy stuff. But So, damaged dude with not much personality. Oh, but there's a cute little hacker girl that's, Uh like, by his side. And she's super bubbly. Uh Not really. She's just kind of normal. Like, she's not overly... Like, she knows when to stop. You know, like, she doesn't go push his buttons to a ridiculous level or something, right? So... Oh, there's, you know, cute little... Ha- and I don't I don't think it's going to be like this huge romance or anything. It's more like, oh, she's going to make him kind of human a little, isn't she? Like, that's what it feels like. Like, she's at least going to help him socially. Which, love that. Always love that. Is she the um, one that's, that's in both of the shows? No. Th- so, there's like a, a tertiary actor who is a desk worker at spy dude but then also like over in one dollar lawyer he's like the office manager guy Hmm. so but they share a lot of scenes like they're always in the same office like same dude that girl just so if you want a little inside there's a trio of music videos that day six does and they're in like a high school and like so it's like the members of day six are like part of the high school stuff she's the Mm -hmm. main like love interest so if you've ever seen um like um like the when you love someone in that like whole grouping so just FYI. cool she's really like I'm, I'm really liking her character so far like i said she's not like overly bubbly because the veil is super serious like mm-hmm. whoo really serious i'm having so much fun watching just an episode or two a day as i'm on the treadmill because i feel like if i was sitting watching it i would be having nervous energy because <laughs> Stress. The stress of what I, I don't know. Watching him kill, like, ten myth dealers in one blow. Like, that's that's a visceral reaction that I'm having. So, like... Anyway. Yeah, that's that's my moment with that. Um, 
SCI, I brought it up. I don't know. I don't know why I'm watching it again, but here I am watching <laughs> it. The drama Full circle, you baby. You literally don't know Full why circle. you're watching it. You're like, I'm just here. I'm this here. makes no sense. It's, 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 go- it's goofy. It's because it, it feels like it feels like a parody. Like the whole time. I know it's not really, but it feels like one. Mm. But at the same time, it's like about these crazy psychological killer people. Like, I don't know. Funny styles. One character always dresses in entirely white. That type of stuff just cracks me up. Therefore, that's what we get. Um, that's on YouTube. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but like, I'm having fun with it. Um, Taxi Driver 2 already said that. And then a Japanese show. Okay, the Japanese. I had to click on it in order to see <laughs> the English like title. Uh, I'll Be Your Bloom. I'm still, I'm like two episodes away from being done with it. Really cute idol drama. Um, kind of centers around the little failing idol group and then the new house mom who's a failed high school teacher. And it's sweet. It's just really sweet. And then she she becomes like their biggest fan and their biggest supporter and stuff Aww. like that. But she's kind of, she kind of realizes she's a doormat of a person. And mm. they, and she, she bluntly like says that about herself and that she doesn't really support herself you know and so then these you know these little idol boys are like well we think you're the best thing ever so we want to help you love yourself so yeah so like we'll be your family type thing it's cute mm. um yeah i think that's it mm. i'm sure i'm sure there's a couple i'm forgetting but that's that of course. <laughs> so that was you know that was that was our, our monthly what we're watching episode uh, we hope you enjoy listening to it um if you know, you want to listen to other months of what we watched. We got four years of this, baby. And they're all, all of our episodes can be found wherever podcasts are. Or they're all on our YouTube channel, which you should definitely go subscribe to. And, you know, if you end up listening to them on there, maybe give it a little like. You know how, you know, how the YouTube situation goes. And, of course, if you want time codes and links to everything we talk about, you have to go to our website, certifiednunas.com, where we have every single episode has a blog post that has the time codes and the links and all that goodness there if you want to support this podcast you can go to patreon.com slash certified newness to become part of the official certified found family there are found family on the web we think they're great they're keep the lights on as it were and they're they're the bee's knees you know we think they're fantastic and you can also go join our free to join discord server we have a discord Mm -hmm. server the link is it's listen it's on the website you know it's on it's on where all the links <laughs> it's are places you know? it's there you can find it and you, you know we're still on twitter for as long as it doesn't die in a fire so you mm-hmm. can find us there we're also on instagram you know the, the usual it's always at certified nunas that's how we do uh anyway we hope you're having a fantastic week that things are things go really well for you whatever you get up to and for in the coming week and as always as we say wash your hands wear a mask and keep enjoying asian entertainment bye